Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a Kiwi Crate. It's that time of month again. They're all coming in the mail and it's very exciting. So I'm excited to open this one and see what this month has in store for us. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum and organizational ideas and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. Okay, so this month is Coral Reef, and it says Rice Ratchet Powered Jellyfish and Explore Coral Reef Science. And I just think this sounds so exciting. My parents are scuba divers, most of my family is. I am not, because it scares me. <laughs> I like to swim, I just don't want to be under with all the creatures. So I'm excited to learn more about this since I spend, I've spent a lot of my life hearing all about coral and you know, seeing some of it from my parents, seeing tons of pictures. So when you open the crate, this is what it looks like on the top. So this looks really fun already. So these are our instructions, but this little jellyfish gadget we're gonna make. <laughs> and then we have our booklet in here that's gonna give us a lot of extra resources about coral reefs and activities we can do. It looks like this looks like a fun activity and usually some sort of food item maybe. Back here, that looks like a food item. So, whoo, I'm just dropping stuff on the floor. And then we have these pieces right here. This is maybe part of our jellyfish. It kind of looks like legs, but then we have pipe cleaner and eyes in there. And then we have our little jellyfish parts. These look like little Easter eggs. <laughs> and then all of our little screws and stuff for that. And we have lots of strings. So we have, these ones look like they might be a little longer. These are shorter. And then these ones also have the little shoelace type tie on the end, I guess it's not necessarily shoelace, but the metal, so you can thread them a lot easier and then they'll stay. And then this says watercolor pastels, so that sounds cool. We, I don't think we've gotten something like this before. And then here's our little wooden holder, and it looks like it has some pieces in there that we're gonna use. And then we have our little background. It has two sides, so I wonder if you can switch it. And then that's what's in this crate. So this looks fun, it's gonna be exciting. My son's always excited, so I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes. So Manti wanted to try out this coral right here. You can kind of see it up at the top. So we're making some popcorn right here in my pan. I like to use coconut oil and then I just use some popcorn and put it in there and we're gonna pop it. Yes, they're popcorn seeds. <laughs> Sorry, they're popcorn seeds. We're gonna pop it and then we'll finish making the rest with some melted marshmallows and food dye. This is popcorn reef round two, and we're trying to see if everything will fit in this glass bowl. The first ones, I don't think they had enough marshmallows, or maybe it's because I only have large ones, but it just didn't cover very well, so we're, we're trying again. Okay, so this batch is looking better already, so hopefully it will turn out. Oop, there's our red dye. Okay, you gonna stir it up for us? Liddy's trying to stir it. <laughs> okay, Liddy, let go. Here we go, we're mixing it together. <laughs> okay, so I scooped the first few. Manta's gonna scoop one, okay, but not too, too big. <laughs> okay, and look at how stringy it is. Bring it over here and put it right over the spot, please. There we go. He's making some coral reefs over here. Here's our lovely coral reefs. 
yummy. It tastes yummy. They're beautiful. So Manta is following this pitcher right here and trying to make his little coral reef. So we have our popcorn. And then you, I don't have any blueberries right now, but he's gonna attempt to make a little bit of a fish on here. Perfect. It's like a monster fish. Maybe it kind of looks like a crab. <laughs> you wanna try a bite of it and tell us how it is? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so Manti finishes kiwi crate and I think we had fun. Did you have a lot of fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and he has his fingers in his book like he normally does, so he's gonna show you those things. So, what do we have here, a maze? A maze, so that looks fun. And then what did you wanna show him on the next page? <laughs> oh, there's a little experiment you can do. You can make a pet jellyfish right here if you don't wanna actually have one. And then there's the picture of the jellyfish there. And then what's the last thing? The popcorn coral reef. We made it. We did make it, huh? So we had a lot of fun making <laughs> the popcorn. We actually didn't do a very good job the first time. I didn't have any small marshmallows, which is what it's called for, so we used some larger ones and just broke them in half. But then I think we cooked them just a little bit too long because then they got hard too fast <laughs> for us to stir the popcorn in. So then we just redid it because I had marshmall enough marshmallows, so we redid it and it worked fine. I just put a few more marshmallows and a little bit more butter and didn't cook them as long. <laughs> and it worked fine and they had fun eating it. It was very, very sticky and very, very pink. <laughs> but he's gonna show you his jellyfish thing that he made. So it's a ratchet, I can't even remember. That's what it, a ratchet something is what it's supposed to be. Oh yes, I forget. We made this first too, cause this goes, it's part of this. And you can color the other side if you want. And or, they can put it back. <laughs> yes, because it it's gonna go in the back of this <clears throat> and just sit in here. And so if you wanted to color both sides, you could, because then you could flip it around and you know have it this side, or you could just do one. At the time, we just did one because he uh, painted, so you use these crayons, and then you could get them wet. So we were waiting for one side to dry. So now he could go back and paint the other side if he wanted to. So these were fun. You could leave them, these pastels, you can leave them dry or you can get them a little bit wet with like a Q-tip and kind of smudge them around like a watercolor. So then he also used those same pastels on the little jellyfish legs right here. So this is kind of what they look like if you leave them dry. See if that will focus on those. So he colored those as well and had a fun time putting these together. And then this is a fun little game. So these little ratchets go here and then you move them up and down. <laughs> as you can see, it just went up. And, oh, what are you trying to show him now? The ratchet? <laughs> okay, let's put that down. So then you unwind it and you can put them all the way down and then you go, you have one person on one side and one person on the other, and they go as fast as they can and see who can win the race, huh? Mm -hmm. So we did it, who won the race? I did, <laughs> even though he, he said he won, but, we, but I won the race. So that was fun. And what was your favorite part? What was your favorite part? Making the popcorn. Making the popcorn. So making the popcorn was his favorite part. What That's was the good. hardest part? Nothing was. Nothing was. <laughs> Nothing really was the hardest part, huh? Most of it was pretty easy and he did almost the whole thing by himself. He did have a little accident with this. It, he dropped it off the counter and it did break just at the corners. And so I just used some wood glue and put it back together and it seems fine. So if that happens, maybe just use some wood glue and then it'll be okay. <laughs> But we are excited to see what next month brings. So if you enjoy seeing these videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next month.